Hey guys, so uh, today a quick little mini lesson. We're going to be talking about exponential notation in expanded form. It's really the key concept that kind of helps bridge the gap on everything and make this makes this unit make a little bit more sense. So to understand um, what we're doing, first we need to do is know what exponential form is. Exponential form. <coughs> okay, and all that is is when we have some number being raised to some exponent. So in this case we'd have a to the third. Now the key thing is is to understand what this is. This is my base number. Okay? It doesn't have to be a number. It's anything that's being raised to an exponent. We call that the base number. And this is my exponent. And that tells me how many times I multiply the base number times itself. Okay? That's an important distinction. I'm not saying, that doesn't say a times three. That says I'm taking my base number, I'm going to multiply it times itself three times. So I could rewrite that then as a times a times a. Okay, that's what, this is my exponential notation. This written out is called expanded form. Okay, so I took a to the third, which says I'm multiplying my base number times itself three times. It looks like this in expanded form, a times a times a. Okay, that's the gist of what we got going on here and all we're really going to be working about on this week for the most part is understanding how do we go from exponential notation um, into expanded form. And for today, since this is our intro lesson, that's all we're going to be doing. So, for example, let's say we had a problem that looked like, whoa, nice catch. We have 2 to the 4th power. Okay, that's an exponential notation. My base number is 2. My exponent, so it's telling me I'm taking my base number times itself four times. So that tells me how many times I multiply it by itself four. So if I wrote that in expanded form, then it would look like this. Okay. So that's expanded form. That's kind of what you want to do. Even though we can get to an answer quickly, it's better to write it in expanded form or get used to the practice of writing it in expanded form because what that does is it allows us to simplify these bigger numbers using exponents. That's what the goal of this is. But for today, we're just really focused on getting from this number to that number, okay? So in this case, this would be two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. So while the answer is 16, if it just says what's two to the fourth, it'd be 16. But if it says write two to the fourth in expanded form, you're gonna want two times two times two times two, okay? Now, for today's work, that's what we are working on. That's all you're doing. So that's your mini lesson. We're just gonna have you matching expanded form and exponential notation, getting used to that. Uh, a thing that's really important to note, um, and we'll be doing it with the next video when we talk about the power of zero, but let's just do a quick two to the third, two squared, two to the first, okay? Um, we'll go two to the zero, then two to the negative first, two to the negative second, okay? So if we're looking at, that's my exponential notation, so in expanded form, they look like this. Okay, so this, all I'm doing is, this is going to be 8, that's going to be 4, that's going to be 2. So if I'm looking at my patterns here, this is just dividing by 2 every time. So then when I go from 2 to the first, when I divide by 2 to get 2 to the 0, I would get... 2 divided by 2, which is 1. Okay? So this looks like that, which is 1. For this one, we're going to divide by 2 to follow my pattern. 
and I'd have 1 over 2. For this one, when I divide by 2, then it looks like this. Okay, so when you have a negative exponent, all I'm really doing is putting whatever my exponent is, turn it into a positive exponent, and putting it over 1. So 2 to the square power. We're going to keep talking. I ask you to practice a little bit to conceptually see it, but uh, we're going to keep practicing that. So if that seems a little confusing to you today, tomorrow's lessons, we're really diving into the negative exponents. Okay? So that's all you're doing for the mini lesson. Make sure you guys clear your board. It should take you less than about 20 tries to do that. And uh, do your best.